Hi guys, it's Tori Shadowbrami again. I trust you guys are doing very well. I know, I know, forgive me, I didn't have a video up last week. It's been busy, but I'm here again. I'm going to make it up to you guys. If you're like me, you guys have been, I've been inundated with tons of uh, invites to Halloween parties. So I, my skills are not that advanced to create like a, go, a monster or goblin or goal look. So I wanted just to, I decided to go as myself, as a glam version of myself using some of the items that I already have in my arsenal so if you want to see how I created this look for the Halloween party that we have later on in the day don't forget to just continue watching the channel and don't forget to like comment share and most of all subscribe okay guys catch you guys on the flip side starting my primer my face I'm gonna be using my bare minerals original foundation primer Can you see that I'm gonna be using that to prime my face Now before I set my primer, I will be taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Orange. Can you see that? And I'll be using that to color correct where I have my dark spots. For my foundation, I will be using the 24 hour wear Revlon Color Stay foundation in the shade 440 Mahogany. This is the one, this is the shade for combination oil. This is one of, this has become one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Use it all the time for work because I like the finish it gives me. Foundation, I will be using my Sigma F60 brush. To highlight, you guys know what I use all the time. I, I, I'm still yet to find a concealer who does a better job as the Elegio Pro Concealer in the shade two. I'm still yet to find it. If you guys can offer me any suggestions, I would be super grateful. But so far, this baby does what she needs to do for me, and I'm just gonna be sticking with her for now um, until I find something else. Okay. It's always wise to let your concealer sit for a few minutes so be um before you go out and blend it. So for now I'm just gonna go to getting my eyes ready for my eyeshadow. I will be using of course um my LA, my sorry my makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade C11 using that to prime my eyes to get ready for when I'm going to start using the eyeshadow. So let's tap that in there, and you guys know what this is. This is to ensure that the eyeshadows I use will pop. I can't remember the last time I actually used an eyeshadow primer because this method seems to be my go to now. And taking my Morphe MB17 brush and using that to blend. Now we can go in and blend. Start from the outside in. Now for my highlighting powder, I will be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So to start, I'll be taking the shade edge here, this shade here. And using that as my transition color. Then I will be going into the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette and taking the shade Rush to also add to my crease. On put to put. Oh, sorry. I will be taking the shade Rush and using that on top of my crease bear in mind we are building this look as we go very glam very very glam guys
now to further define my crease i the shade all star from the anastasia subculture palette going into my jacqueline hill palette taking the shade because i wanted a brick color but since we can't find one we're going to be taking the shade framed and siren and using that to further define the crease as well from the outside now i want to try and do a cut crease so i will take my wet and wild i'm going to be using my wet and wild brush here using that to try and attempt to do a cut crease i know i've done it before um so i'm gonna try and do that again then taking my morphe shading brush i will be using two colors here i want to use i'm gonna start using the shade adorn from the subculture palette that's this here and also taking the shade on camera from the jacqueline hill palette this is the um sigma eye shading brush in the shade e55 I'm taking the shade on camera For my inner corner, I'm going to be taking my pencil Sigma brush. I have to wet it first. And taking the shade Bum Ass and using that for the inner corner. Okay, guys, for my bottom lash line, I use my LA Girl Gel Liner in blue. To set my entire face, I'll be using my Black Opal Deluxe Soft Velvet Finishing Powder in the shade Dark. For my blush, let me see. Oh, I'm so excited to try this new product with you guys. I will be, for my blush, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. Trio in the shade in the cocktail party let's see i've already these have already been swatched by me nice orange peachy shade for the lips today we'll be using the makeup geek lip, um, matte lipstick in the shade flamenco For my highlighter, I'll be using my, you guys know, you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Twitter, you know my go-to highlighter, my Lorac Tantalizer Baked Blush Highlighter. So guys, this is the finished look, a nice glam makeup look for the Halloween party that we will be going to in a couple of minutes, I should just get the baby ready and get out of the house but all in all i really enjoyed today's creating today's look for you guys let me know what you guys think i would like to know your thoughts and your um your suggestions in terms of getting a new concealer apart from my oldie ever faithful my elegant pro concealer so i find something else that is just as good i'm going to stick to that but all in all um what can i say about the subculture palette that has not that has not been said by everyone else so far um the revlon color stay foundation by um color stay foundation oily mahogany shade 440 very good very fantastic i like that foundation I, I use it almost all the time but all in all this is the look that i created i really like it a lot so i'd like to know your thoughts and your comments and thank you for watching the video and supporting your girl until then catch you guys on the flip side and enjoy and have a happy halloween and don't eat too much candy okay guys bye Mwah.